air of water at Cuspies. Okay, guys, this is your numerology reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. This is for Gemini Cancer Cusp, Libra Scorpio Cusp, and Aries a Pisces Cusp. Okay, my friends, let's see what's going on. And best message coming out is ooh, having the abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment, and that is what you will experience. Very nice. First card coming out for neurology is 13, effort. Talking about that root chakra, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Talking about that stability, that vitality, knowing that you're putting in all this effort. So Spirit wants you to know, I see your effort. Continue to put in your effort for the reward. Yes. So really, really getting deep in there. And there it is again, 4. Wow. You guys are probably seeing a lot of 4s. Um, this is about perseverance, using it from your heart space, making sure that you are compassionate when you are persevering, making sure that you are enjoying what you are doing, putting in the effort, having the love, personal growth, <clears throat> having the clarity and the understanding that you are personally growing as you are putting in the effort, as you are persevering through this. You might feel like for some of you that you are kind of the wounded warrior. There could be times where you feel like this is a little bit much and it might even feel like Ugh, so much but not much reward. Spirit wants you to understand that there is a reward. You will be rewarded, okay? Just keep the forward movement going. Four plus five equals nine. That's the Four is that stability again, four, 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 there you go. With that five, it's causing a change. Even if you're not aware of the change right now, so I want you to understand that the change is on the horizon. Keep going forward. You are growing. Your job is growing. You're having a personal growth within yourself, whether you can see it or not. But you probably are seeing it because with the effort comes more self-discipline, right? So having the platypus, Right. Stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life. That's what, you know what, I don't really see it right now. Don't complain about it. It's on its way. As you are persevering, you are causing all these things to happen because you can't have an action without a reaction. So if you're putting in all this effort, then there is going to be some kind of change, something that's going to happen. Right. Okay, and the card coming out for the perseverance and the personal growth is, oh, look at that, investing. So it does feel like you are investing a lot of time and a lot of energy. It could be into your job, into your work. It could be love. It could be whatever you're, whatever you're putting effort into. Um, this one right here just feels like I'm doing a lot of work. Maybe you're not really seeing the payout at this time. I bet Spirit says just keep going strong, right, as you are becoming the king of wands over here. You're taking on a huge, a huge... Um, Either creative project or um, some a lot of things are going on there. It's putting you in leadership role at this time, um, and where it feels like maybe you're in control of the situation, right? Or you have to stay in control of the situation. If it's a love situation and you're putting a lot of effort into this, you might feel like you're the one doing most of the work. If you're trying to work on a love situation and try to bring it all back together, you are putting a lot of the energy into it by having personal growth and doing all those things. Uh, the Queen of Swords over here, some of you could be divorced or you could even be widowed or you could be dealing with a divorcee, a person who is divorced or a, a, wit, a widow or a widower. Um, so it could be you or them, but it also feels like there is a lot of direct communication when it is coming to this situation. So it's saying, keep moving forward within this situation so that you can become more clear minded, have better communication at this time, right? Because this is going to be the time where you really want to feel like you're having that communication. You want to feel like this is where the communication is really coming in. Okay, so clearing through a lot of things might be even adding some boundaries. Maybe you feel like the person you're dealing with has too many boundaries. They need to settle down. It's hard to get to you when you are so closed off, but you're also very direct in communication, telling me exactly what you need and what you don't need. Oh my gosh, it's like, how am I going to get through this, right? Take it how it resonates. 
So it does feel like there is some hidden things that you're not really clear about. They're trying to make things that are clear, but I feel like it's confusing you. You're trying to use your intuition to the situation. No wonder you're trying to persevere over here. No wonder you're trying to keep your abundance mindset. So whether it's a job or an authority figure, maybe it's your boss who seems to really clear out things and really cut to the bullshit, you know, or however it is and really lay it out on the line. It just feels like there's still something that's not quite clear. What am I supposed to be doing? It could also be maybe it's not quite clear when my abundance is supposed to come in because it feels like I am working my butt off and barely getting paid and without any real true reward. Spirit says you do have the Ace of Cups coming in. So, you know, don't worry. You're, you're fine where you are, right? But it is definitely a battle and it can cause even some internal battles as you guys are trying to, you know, maneuver around this situation. Whether it's love, right? I have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. So it does feel... Like, you know, you're trying to establish this love connection. Yeah, it feels like you're establishing a love connection, putting everything and all the effort into the situation and not feeling like they're really giving back, but you're really trying, right? You're really trying. Uh, with the ace, with the page of swords over here, it's like you're getting fresh new ideas of how to communicate with this person who feels a little closed off, right? They only seem to want to talk when they want to talk. Um, so it does feel like you're kind of getting down to... Let's have this kind of communication instead, right? Because you have the personal growth, so you're learning. You're kind of learning how to maneuver around certain situations, right? Also learning, yeah, how to keep yourself more stable within the water, how to keep yourself more balanced when you're dealing with this person. It doesn't have to be 100% love. It could be a family member, a friend, a coworker, the boss. It could be anybody, right? But... With the four, you know, with the four and the seven, it's like you're going to make what it is you need to have. You have the ten of pentacles coming out. So Spirit says, within time, you will be rewarded. I just want you to know that the next two cards that are next to these, as I pull these apart, is the imprints, which is three and three. So it does feel like there you go, right? <laughs> the peace and the harmony is coming together as you're re reaching over here, imprints mode. Um, as you're waiting for your ships to come through, you're waiting for your ships to come through and here it comes, right? Because she's going to give out the abundance. She is full of prosperity. So there you have it. So it feels like that is exactly, that's where I want to move. That's how I want to be. And maybe they're going to open up a little bit better because it does feel like whatever's going on within this situation, there will be better communication coming. Um, after it feels like everybody's emotions start to slow down a little bit. But like I said, once you get really balanced within your own emotions over here, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of maneuver around with them, right? And I mean maneuver around them because they seem to have some communication kind of issues. I just feel like they're just too point blank and they don't really want to open up and really communicate. They just want to, well, guys, for some of you, I'm just going to straight out say it. Some of them like to nag and some of them are just straight out, just really blunt, and they just don't really want to hold a conversation, and they just want to say what they want to say, and then kind of run away, okay? <laughs> I mean, let's just get to the nitty-gritty. I mean, that's really what it feels like, and that can put you in a confusion area of, you know, how are we going to work together? How are, am I going to do this? So this is why you're persevering, because it feels like you're kind of the wounded warrior over here, just waiting, just waiting for this to all kind of, you know, come together. Okay, but it is, Spirit says it is coming together. It's just, you know, it kind of is this, it's definitely kind of a setback, right? To where I feel at one time you felt like maybe you had it and then you didn't have it. Everything became really confusing, right? Okay, guys, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.